If you're watching this video, we talked in the office about an ACDF or an anterior cervical discectomy infusion. And why we're doing that surgery is you, there's a piece of disc uh, that's herniated from your spine and pressing on nerves, causing pain in your neck and or arms. An ACDF can either be done in the hospital or as an outpatient in the surgery center. Uh, before anything happens, you'll be put to sleep and then you'll be put on an operating table on your back. A small incision will be made in the front of the neck for me to be able to get to the front of the spinal cord and spine itself. Once I'm down to the spine, I'll remove the disc that is causing the problem. And then in its place, I'll put a small metallic cage. In front of that cage, I'll then put plate and screws to hold everything in place and fuse the bones of the neck together. After surgery, you'll wake up in the recovery area and depending on how many levels I have to fuse, you may or may not be in a cervical collar which will help hold your head in place. Uh, depending on several factors, you may or may not have drains in your neck to prevent any fluid from building up. If I do use drains, they'll be taken out uh, shortly after surgery. And at, once you wake up and are able to, you'll be able to eat and drink normally. Uh, many times people will complain of some mild uh, discomfort in their throat uh, with things like eating big pieces of bulky food like bread or uh, steak. That generally will improve after a couple of days. And most people are feeling relatively good after just a couple of days. The way the surgery is done, I don't have to cut any muscles in the neck. So there's actually very little pain associated with the surgery itself. Uh, if you're in a collar, I'll generally keep you in that for a month to six weeks. And most people are able to get back to their uh, jobs, depending on what that is, uh, around six weeks or even less. Generally, after an ACDF, most people do not need physical therapy. The only reason I would uh, send you to physical therapy is if you're having any difficulty uh, using your arms to do things or if you have weakness in your legs. Uh, but otherwise, most people that undergo an ACDF do not require any physical therapy afterwards. One question that a lot of people ask me is because I'm fusing bones of the neck together, are they going to have problems moving their neck afterwards to look around or a lot of stiffness in their neck? Uh, depending on how many levels I fuse, uh, you may notice some slight uh, change in how much you're able to move your neck with flexion extension or uh, to look side to side. But most people, it's very minimal at most um, and they really don't even notice it. Uh, some people will actually say they feel like they can move their neck more after surgery because it doesn't hurt and your body naturally tries to prevent you from moving the neck uh, before the fusion itself.